start talking to that person now, the person has received already. Let's hear your shout now. As you receive that now, and you start coming out, don't just only come out. Show it that you are happy what God has done for you. Come out of your wheelchair. Drop your walking stick. It's no more your own. It's an antiquity. Yes, we are waiting for you. Just one shout, we open the door for other shouts. Check. Check, it is done. Yes, it's happening. As you are clapping your hands, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out. Yes, it has happened. It has happened. Start coming out, start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Walk out of your wheelchair. Open your eyes and see. Speak to the person. She can hear now. He can hear now. Hallelujah. Over there. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Come to the left hand side. They stand where you will be interviewed to give your testimony. Nobody should move yet until we listen to the last testimony. You're trying to move, we move other people. So please remain where you are. Check yourself. You have received yourself already. Come out and testify. Come out and testify. I'm hearing shouts over there. Shout of abundance of rain on you, on me. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. They are clapping there. Really clap. Really clap. Really clap. And bring them out. For Taco people, you are noted for clapping, for rejoicing. Yes, yes, yes. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. It's not only when cripples are raised up. We give praises to the Lord. Somebody can be crippled and still live many years. And yet, internal sickness that require oppression, God has taken it away. When you have discovered that, shall praise the Lord and let's rejoice with them. Start coming out. We are waiting for you. Those in other locations all over the world, globally, 
Start getting prepared as we also take your testimonies. And those via media, social media, also get ready as we listen to your testimony. Our counselors, please, start bringing them forward here. We start listening to testimonies now. You check yourself and join them. The only problem we have this evening is that we don't have enough time to listen to testimonies. But we start taking it now one by one. The first person. Yes. It's happening there. Bring the person out. Praise the Lord. This evening, the person by my side here is Omar Pemiro Kobo. He has been having chronic lower limb pain for three years. But as he came to the crusade, God has intervened his life and the pain is gone. Let's hear from him. Praise the Lord. My name is Ombe Pnagwo Ozidi from Tumo District, Bumondi region, Delta State, Nigeria. Uh, this pain has been for a long time, three years. And I just go take medicine and you go back. On Monday, on the 18th of this month, I went to the General Hospital, Bomandi, and the doctor uh, test me. So I should go to the lab and they test me and they gave me some drugs. After taking the drugs, this Monday, I did not take the drug. And the place were pinning me seriously. So I came to this uh, program. When I was in this program, it was on Thursday when our Father in the Lord said we should raise our hands and touch where he's pinning us. And he mentioned the name, my problem, which is my bones. And from that day, I received my healing. And I have not been taking my drugs right from that Thursday till now. Praise the Lord. Yes. Doctor, what is the name of that sickness? 
disease or the sickness. He has a chronic leg pain for three years. The pain disappeared on Thursday after the prayer of the man of God, and the pain is gone. He has testified. This is it by Sue from Afcam region. My testimony goes, I was to travel on Tuesday. I said, I want to say good night to Portacot and good morning to my destination. But I was stopped. So one day I said, I must be at this crusade. So my woman, I wanted to cross. A lady came with a speed and just packed me from the ground, all I saw myself, I was sitting on the bonnet of that car. As if that was not enough, Daddy was saying about suffering. There is a business I've been wanting to do for the past how many years? And I went there, an audience was given to me. There was also a sharp pain on my back for some time now. If I go to cabinet, for me to stand up, I begin to ask myself, why did I ever go for this covenant? And after the preaching, I went in. That day, I stood up. There was no pain again. I said, no, let me try again. I have to go back. As I stand up, pains were gone. I cannot stay in the night without putting on stocking. After the night again, there was no more stocking. The most important one was that I can't wash plates at times, cold. And I, I cannot remember when I took wa cold water baths. This morning, I woke up by 4.40 something. I found myself, I took a cold shower bath and there is no more cold again. So you can see every day of the crusade, there was a shower of blessing in my life. And I don't know what God will do tomorrow. I say, God bless our daddy who made this time to come here to, to, to tell us about the goodness of God and all the suffering, everything has gone. And may God bless everyone, all the pastors and everyone, in Jesus' name. Clap your hands for Jesus. Praise the Lord. The lady standing by my side with her two children is by name Blessing John, a nurse. She has been married for seven years with her children. She had primary infertility. But after one of the monthly revival program in 2015, our pastor prayed, God a miracle. Let's hear from her. Praise and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm very, very happy to stand in the midst of you this night and glorify the name of God for what he did in my life. I got married. My name is Sister Blessing John from Rumo Sister Group and then like an old group, Dakota Regions, River State, Nigeria. 
2008, I got married. Then in marriage, what we expect is children, but people did not mean to have them. So I was right from hospital to hospital, taking drugs and medicine here and there, but he was not in vain. And then my mother told me that I should believe in God, that I should not be drinking anything again. I should stop taking anything because even the drugs affect my womb. My sister, my brother, I was just hoping on God. And one uh, 2015 monthly program, our daddy-in-law prayed, preached after the message, he prayed. He asked us to raise our hand up for those that are looking for children. I did. I stood up, I raised my hand up, and he prayed just a short prayer for us. And God visits me that the same month. That month did not pass me. I took in and delivered this girl. And after two years, I took in again and delivered this boy. I'm really grateful for God because he's removed the mantle and the barrier from my life. That day I said, thank you very much, sir. God, I've been using you to bless my family. God will give you long life for myself and my family. God bless you, sir. I'm very, very happy. Those are looking for children. Believe God and God will do yours in Jesus' name. Those looking for children. Your children have come. Praise the Lord. The next person after that. Praise the Lord. The brother by my side is newly Sunday. He has been having chronic chest pain for seven years. But at the divine touch crusade, God touched him and healed him through the prayer of the man of God. From that time to now, he has been well. Let's hear from him. Praise and praise the Lord. Just praise the Lord. My name is Brother Nuri Sunday. I'm from Ogoni, River State, Nigeria. I worship in Ekerewan District Church, another that group. By the grace of God, I am saved from Satan. More than seven years, my brother has been on drugs. I take drugs every day. I'm a friend of hospital. In fact, my company tired for me because they spend a lot of money for me. My chest, I sick chest pain for seven years. Every morning before I go to my work, I will cook a hot water and I will lie on my chest on it before I can go to my job. But during the divine touch for total freedom at Inugu State, that Sunday, I changed my prayer point. The program starts from Thursday, but on Sunday, I changed my prayer point. I said, God, I can see that my prayer have not been coming in, that this is my chest. If you will do this one for me, I'll be okay. On Sunday, our daddy said, you will take double. We will get double today, I'll claim it. And that morning, when I pray, I pray, I observe that something move out from my chest and go under my leaves. I say, you are a liar, devil. You must move from this place today. In the evening, when we come back in the evening that day, the pain still, live in, still remain in my chest. On the midnight that day, I sleep early. I told my family that they should not disturb me. I was praying. I sleep early. Around some minutes to 12, I, 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 I cough from sleep. And when I cough, I now cough out something like stone from my chest. I struck the thing on my thighs. I said, wonderful. So does it mean this thing was in my chest? God I hear me. Since that day I was observing, say, let me see, is that true, true, that I'm, I'm healed. I go to my hospital, I told the doctor, 
The doctor asked me, how far? I said, the, the, the X-ray that you did, that you sent to specialist. The specialist said, there is no, nothing in my chest that God has hid me. Because he will ask me, how far? I said, don't bother. The Lord has hid me. That's why I come here to send the glory to the Almighty God. I said, the Lord who has done me, done this thing to me, may his name be Allah exalted. Our daddy in the law, God will reward you. And you will live longer to stay with us to deliver your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What doctors cannot see through us through anything, God sees it and remove it. We switch over to social media and other locations globally now. testimonies happening on the social media we bring you a man who has a reason to praise the Lord we got this testimony reported to us by Pastor Stanley Omobude in glorious district life camp group FCT Abuja the name of the man is Wabweze Vitalis his picture comes up with you right now you can see the man this man said he had never gone to any church he was invited to the crusade by his landlord right at the crusade he gave his life to christ and he said the prayer of the man of god changed his orientation completely he is so excited and promised to continue to serve the lord all the days of his life next we take you to liberia and from nigeria we are switching to liberia where we have the testimony of a 56 year old woman sister choko sakpa According to her, in 2017, she experienced a sharp pain in her womb. This pain in the womb was also associated with serious bleeding. And she got this after the vehicle she was traveling in bounced in a pothole. She went to the hospital. She was made to go through scans. And it was revealed that she had womb enlargement. And not just that. She's also suffering from burning sensation in both ears with the left ear leaking pulses and serious cold in the nose. However, during the showers of blessing crusade on the second night precisely, while the prayers of the man of God was ongoing, according to her, she had the sound of breeze blowing in her ears and immediately the pulses in the ear stopped the cold in the nose top, the sharp pains in the womb top, triple testimony at the same time. Praise and the Lord. Hallelujah. And all the way from Liberia, we move to the Gambia. We bring you a testimony from the Gambia. This one comes live. The Gambia, live. Praise the Lord. We have four striking testimonies from the Gambia, and our brothers and sisters are going to give their testimony now. We we'll start with the first person. Praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Emmanuel from Pipeline Group of District, the Gambia. I give God the glory because this crusade is a sour of blessing indeed. Ten years ago, I lost something. I discovered the kind of rain in me. But during this crusade, the Lord restored the rain back, and I see the joy of salvation within me. Praise the Lord. The second testimony is this. I taught in a school. I, after teaching for three hours that day, I discovered that I have a severe headache. But when there is a source of blessing, immediately I step in into the uh, crusade, I discovered that the pain was over. 
I bless the name of the Lord. May his name be praised forever. Praise the Lord. The second testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Blessing Marizu. I come from London Corner Group of Districts, the Gambia. On Monday, I went to the hospital to get my ears cleaned. But the doctor made a mistake and he injured my left ear. And ever since then, my ear has been hurting me very badly and pus has been coming out of my ear. But on the first night of the crusade, the pastor mentioned those who have hearing problems and ear problems, and I believed. And after that, all the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number three. This is from one of our children in the church. Praise the Lord. My name is John Akani from Pipeline Group of District. See, for some time now, I, I have had a sore throat. Anytime I'm eating, I will always have a challenge in my throat. But since I came in here, my throat has been healed. Praise the Lord. And my second testimony, I think it's over a week that day when I woke up, my head started paining me severely. My stomach was paining me. And tears used to normally come out of my eye when I would not know. But now I am healed. Yesterday, I slept well like a baby. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! Actually, the boy that has given all the testimony on uh, two days ago, he was not able to come. We had to encourage the mother. The mother brought him and right here, and then the pastor prayed. His sore throat went, the fever went, and he's perfectly whole now. Praise the Lord! The last testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Victoria Olu Chimwoko. I am from London, London Kona District, the Gambia. My testimony goes like this. On Monday, when me and my friend was coming back from school, a car from nowhere hit me from the back. And then I lifted up my leg and then I was bleeding. So there's a lady that took me from that place to the police station. From there, they took me to Sevekunda Clinic Hospital. They gave me some drugs. I took it over, but I couldn't, I couldn't go to school for three days. So after the prayer of the man of God, the man of God told us to lay, to lay our hand in the place we have the problem. So I laid my hand on my left leg. After that day, after that day, my, my, I was healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. These are just part of the testimonies of God's goodness in our midst. And indeed, the hand of the Lord is moving. We can tell you of another great testimony from Pakistan. And now we take you to Pakistan, where Brother Dilawa has been having severe headache from the beginning of the crusade. But when the prayers were going on last night, upon the mention of the final amen, he got his healing, and right now he is praising the Lord. Sister Fumi, away from Brazil had severe stomach ache the power of god right from port Harcourt, traveled to brazil and stopped that ache in its track the name of the lord be praised let's take you to south south calabar nigeria nigeria nigeria, nigeria. praise the lord my sister standing beside me is my neighbor she suffered pains for since 2018 and she could she could not even stand like this but after the prayer of the man of god during this uh, program of showers of blessing at day two of this program god deliver her and now she's she can stand she can walk let me hear from her praise the lord my name is Mary Ekwere. I'm from Okwaibum State, but I live here in Cross River State at eight miles. I suffered this challenge since 2015. I've been living in drugs. I could not walk. I started asking myself a lot of questions. We went to hospitals, different hospitals, did a lot of tests, x-ray, but nothing was working. I was living, I was on drugs since 2015. CEO, this program, this showers of blessings, the second day of the program, I, I connected it online. 
when the man of all was praying, that very night, that evening, God healed me through the prayers of the man of God. This lady, this person you're seeing here, I could not walk. If I, I, I don't even know what they talk about. When they talk about walking, I don't walk. I crawl if I want to. I crawl to anywhere I want to go to. At a point, if I don't support myself, if somebody don't support me, I don't do anything. But today, after the prayers of the man of God that evening, I can walk now. I can walk on my own now. Nobody supports me. I can walk on my own. I can walk on my own now. I can do a lot of things on my own. A lot of things on my own. I can do it on my own right now as we speak. I say, may the name of the Lord be praised. My healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, next, quick, take you to Lagos State, Nigeria. And then from Lagos, we have Brother Mohiz. Who has uh, been have who has been suffering from uh, swollen testicle? However, after the prayers of the man of God, according to him, several months of the swelling completely melted down, and right now he is whole. Praise the Lord. From the Facebook page of our general superintendent, Pastor Doctor W F Kumuyi, comes this testimony. George Jenne is hallelujah. I woke up with terrible pain in my right leg. I couldn't walk well, but I decided to listen to the message on the GS Facebook page while I was lying on my bed with pain after the prayer tonight. She ran seven times round the house and found out that the pain has disappeared. She praises the Lord for this. Finally, we go to Italy. Before we return to the state of Asia, Italy, live, live, live. Sister Rosemary from Italy. My testimony goes like this. For the past eight months, I've been feeling a severe pain on this my right hand. I've been going to hospital, I've been taking different medicine, but something never passed. Even at times, I cannot even wear my dress. Even to back myself, at times, I find it very difficult. But on that last uh, program of uh, Divine Solution after Pastor Kumuyi afraid, and they ask us to put our hand where he's staining us. I lay my hand there. After the prayer, when they were saying, check, check, I check. I see that I can stretch the hand very well now. I can back myself. I can do whatever I want to do with my hand now. Praise the Lord. But the Lord is doing great things as we return to the state of Asia. Praise the Lord. Now there is a lesson we must learn. People far away in other continents, they have received their miracle. And those of us here, don't wait until the man of God touches you or you come to him to be prayed for. You have received your miracle already. Believe it is done. Let's listen to the next testimony now. Praise the Lord. Daddy Gubi, sir. I'm Tony Jack from Ogbogoro District, River State, Port Harcourt, Nigeria. My testimony goes like this. I have been a district pastor in this ministry since 2003 and four. But along the line, I became discouraged. And I left for 11 years. But during the Abuja crusade, I was in the church. And when our daddy mentioned my case, I wept in tears. And since then, 
God, through his servant's ministration, has brought me back to faith. Praise the Lord. Back to faith. Great miracle. It has happened. The next person now. the Lord. The person by my side is Sister Evelyn Johnson. She had a double miracle in this crusade and got affliction of tears in Let's see her from her. Brethren, praise the Lord. I'm the most happiest person here today. Yesterday, I was very, very sick, like since 2013, I was having this affliction in my body that anytime it comes like this, I'll be scratching all over my body. It will come as if, when it comes, it will be giving me fever. I cannot walk. I cannot go anywhere. I'll just be lying down in the house. So since 2013 till now, but this month on was very, very serious. This month wanted to take my life, but God said no. This month, it was very, very serious that I cannot be able to go to my shop to open my shop. I was lying down at home, lying down in the bed. I cannot stand up. I cannot go anywhere. My sister will be begging me to come and eat now. I cannot even eat, but I'll be throwing up. I'm not eating anything. I'll not take water, but I'll be throwing up. So my yesterday and day, but yesterday being Saturday, my sister said, let's just, um, let's just do um, midnight prayer. So we did the midnight prayer. Then Saturday morning, we decided to fast for, from 6 to 12. So we did the fasting from 6 to 12. Then my body was still, I was so dizzy, I cannot do anything. My dad, like, should go to one crusade. There's one crusade that one lady, she's having a crusade. So my dad was like, I should prepare. She, he was going to take me to that crusade. So my sister said, no. They want to ask me a question. I said, okay. He asked me that, that crusade and this and that uh, woman's um, church and this crusade, which one am I going to, which one do I feel like going to? I said, I believe that if I step my foot here, I'm going to receive my miracle. I'm going to receive my healing here. That as soon as I step my foot from that gate, I'm going to receive my healing. So my sister said, okay, since I believe that I'm going to, if I'm come here, I'm going to receive my miracle. That's okay, that I should prepare myself if you are coming to this place. As soon as we get to this place, I was very, very sick. I was very, very done. I could not say anything. I was, I was so dizzy. Even when I was sitting down there, I was throwing up. I threw, I threw up like three times. So she was like begging me that I should just try and give myself strength. So as soon as daddy came into this um, pulpit, I don't know, something just came out from my body. And I told my sister, big sis, see, I'm strong now. I can stand up. I can clap my hand. I can jump. I was like, doing my body. Like my sister said, ah, are you serious? I said, yes. So I don't know. I told you that I believe that once I come here, I will, be, I will, I, that I will have my belief. I, I have my miracle. So my sister said, okay. When Daddy just came out and was preaching that she will not die, all those preaching was, was for me. I claim it because it's my own. So she, she, he was saying that you're not going to die. Just if you know any part of your body that you have sickness, I was touching because I don't even know the part of my body I'm going to touch. I was touching all over my body. So at, at the point of that time, I, I have the healing, that spirit, that immediately I have my healing. So Daddy said, if you want to give your life to Christ, you should raise up your hand. I, was, I raised up my hand. And when they say he preached for us, and he said that if you know you have given your life to God, you shall praise that. I was the first person that shall praise my Lord. So I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Daddy, for the healing. You healed me. What no one can do, you did it for me. Daddy, you, are, you, can, you, will, you will live to see your children, children. You will live to see your great grandchildren. You will not die, but live. Amen. As as this out there, and you are seeing that this sit there, your miracle is confirmed. You are free. Now she is born again. She is grateful to the Lord. Pray the Lord. The next person now.
brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Bro Stanley Ogede. I'm from Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, Omokri 2, in Portacourt region, River State, Nigeria, precisely. By God's grace, I am saved. I want to testify to the glory of God, what God has done in my life. If you were here yesterday, being day four, you recollect that our Father in the Lord said that what God cannot, what God cannot do, does not exist. Indeed, my brothers, on the 16th of October, while after the Abuja Crusade and the pronouncement was made regarding Portacourt Global Crusade, we started preparation. And on the 16th of October, the set and his agents came to deprive me and my family. It was around 8 o'clock. My children were in their room. They decided to take their dinner to their room while they were eating. And there was no light at that moment. So my wife decided to light up a candle for them and instructed them that after eating, they should quench the candle. You know, children, they need constant instruction. So they left it and slept. Me and my wife, we went to our room and we're sleeping. Around 12 o'clock. Tell us your problem, what God has yeah, done for you. Around 12 o'clock, in fact, I don't know how the fire started. Fire fell on top of my children's bed and started burning. So to, to, as God may do it, my son, my little one, the smaller girl, just ran and woke his brother up and, and our, bro our brother up and said, uh, fire is uh, burning. Brother, brother. My son now screamed. I now heard the voice because already I, 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 was not, uh, I, I was not sleeping. So when I ran, I intervened. I went to the room. Fire, the volume of the fire was much. And now dragged the fire. I started burning. It has burned the, the ceiling fan. I dragged the foam out. And to God be the glory, nobody was injured. In addition to my, to my testimony, on the second day of this uh, crusade, I've been having these severe pains in my waist, which most of my brethren that are here, my house clearing fellowship brethren, it has been their prayer points. They were praying for me. Indeed, behold, on the second day, I got my healing. As I stand, I am healed. I can squat down. I can stand up. May God be the glory in Jesus' name. Daddy, God bless you. Clap your hands for Jesus. Let's switch over to social media and other locations great Before things happening back. on the social media we can report to you hear this we have this from the facebook we have joyce philip who's been having this problem for the past two months now according to her she's been having a stiff numb and um, right leg serious pain according to her she got drugs took a lot of medications injections yet the pains continued. However, she connected with the program on Facebook. And while the prayer was and while the prayer was on last night, she felt a sensation. She got a healing and the pains in the numb and the legs vanished completely. Praise the Lord. Chronic toothache of 21 years accompanied Sister Shola Oluyemi, who comes from Oyo State. But after the prayer of the man of God, she said she had spent money, she had used drugs, they all didn't work for 21 years. But after the prayer of the man of God on Thursday, all that problem disappeared. Praise the Lord. And just so you know, COVID-19 is still bowing to the power of the Lord. And this is coming in from Tony Abreu, who says, my mom, my sister, and my sister-in-law were all diagnosed and tested positive to the COVID-19. However, during the prayers of the divine solution, we all connected. After the program, we all went for the checkup, and the result came back negative. Indeed, what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. My brother, two years, strange headache. 10 years, right ear deafness bowed to the name of Jesus. Her name is Sister Martina Mbano from Oyo State once again. She's been having this challenge for a very long time. 
But when she heard our father in the Lord say that in Jesus' name, her ear just opened instantaneously, and now she can hear. Let's take you to South South Edo State, Benin City, live. the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Blessing Daniel Emedo from Afube region, Abu Edo State in Nigeria. Before now, when I was in Abu Jado, I came, I'm not a member of Deeper Life actually, I came to visit my uncle, uh, Tony Omejayo, the region of Asa in Akube region. And I decided to follow him to Deeper Life Church. Yeah, though before then I was having challenges of bad dreams, attack and battles in my dream. And it has really affected my life. And I key into it that for me coming to this church, I will get my deliverance through the man of God. And during that period, that was during a divine connection that they had in Abuja, I came, fasted and hoping in God that God would deliver me. My brother, my sister, before that time, God did his miracle in my life. That great deliverance I've been seeking for so many years, God gave it to me. He delivered me from the hands of the enemy. He set me free, and he gave me the freedom. He said, go, you are free. Praise the Lord. I am free in the name of Jesus. And again, the second testimony is my mother. For several years, she has These hospitals have treatment all to no avail. But during the last program, during the uh, 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 divine uh, solution, I called her. I said, See, you have to trust God this time around. And not for all these drugs and have medicine. Now, this is free. They will not demand money for you for prayer. And believe in God that God will heal you. And my brother, my sister, thank God she went. If the day before the end of the program, I called her and she told me that she is free, that her heart now is no more heavy, huh? neither her body heavy, her, huh? and she cannot cook by herself. Ever since there, I'll be calling her, I will just, I will laugh, no more complain. I say, may the name of the Lord that have done this, may his name be prayed forever in Jesus' name. There is God in, in deeper life church. I never knew that miracle do take place like this. Not until I came here and I called my people. I said, there is God here. I said, the Lord, I have used our daddy too. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Red, red, praise the Lord. My name is Eze Nkechinere from Abudu, Edo State, Nigeria. I want to testify to the glory of God. During the, the time of divine connection and divine touch, that's the first one, divine connection in Buja. It happens that I woke up that week of that divine connection, and I know, in fact, myself, I can explain. On Tuesday of feet, I felt something in my leg at my knee. So myself, I was asking myself, what is this? But I, I, I didn't tell anybody. I was praying about it, thinking it's just a minor thing. But on Thursday of feet, the thing exceeded till on Friday. When I came to the office, I could not do anything. I was just rolling crying like a baby. And that on Friday, I went to the church. I was still trusting God that God will heal me. I bought drugs, but along the line, I threw the drugs away. I said, no, I will not take these drugs. I will not take it. I believe that God will heal me. And something like something was moving like object in my leg. So from there, that on Saturday, that was how the thing and the Almighty God connected. Praise the Lord. During the divine, I was having this problem. I was having this problem frequent. Happened that the Almighty. 
Almighty God, He touched me, and after everything, I was. Amen. Great things happening. We now return to our state of us here, sir. We take the last testimony because of time. Every one of us with testimony, thrown in the testimony through your pastor, those on social media, turn it in so that we'll be able to gather all together. Remember, the shower continues even after now. Praise the Lord. We have so many testimony, but as the pastor have said, this is going to be last of all the lots. This uh, child here suddenly developed difficulty in breathing and sleeping. That is, he had sleep apnea for one month. He had apnea for one month, and he was taken to the hospital. But as the mother brought him to the crusade, during the prayer of the man of God, he laid the, her hand on him, and then something jumped out of his nose. Let's hear from the mother. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Our God is indeed faithful. My name is Sister Happiness Ibian. I'm from Clita District, Rumiwo Group. Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my son's life, Toyo J. Sami Bian. He has been having, he has been snoring. He doesn't snore, but for one month plus now, he has been snoring. The thing got me worried. I said, ah, my son doesn't snore. What do I do? So I, I kept on monitoring him. So I decided to take him to the hospital. We went to the hospital and the doctor prescribed drugs for us it's before even the before we went to the doctor he has been he, he got to a point he stopped sleeping he will cry all through the night he will sleep wake up and cry I, I the thing disturbed me so much so we went to the doctor and the doctor prescribed drugs for us after taking the drugs still no avail the thing didn't work so yesterday when our daddy was praying he asked us anyway before, just from the first day till now, he, when, the, when our daddy said we should place our hand on where we are having the problem, I do place on both my, herself, my children, I'll be touching up and down, I'll be touching them to myself. So yesterday, after the man of God finished uh, praying, we went home. So because of the traffic, we, we reached home late. It was around to 11. So what we did was just, I didn't even bait them. What we did was just eat and morning. Even when we went to bed, throughout last, night, throughout last night, my child didn't cry. He slept peacefully. This morning, my girl was baiting her and something fell out of his nose. Something like this, and we see. Something fell out of his nose. This fell out of his nose. This black thing fell out of his nose this morning. This black thing fell out the of his power nose. Of God this removed it. And my son has been playing. He has been going around. He has been jumping up and down. I said, May the Lord be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. I didn't know what would have happened. I said, Daddy, thank God you very bless you, much. Sister. God bless you. Welcome to Portacos. Thank you so much. Amen. Now, how much the people pass? These are lines of testifier who do not have time to give their testimony this evening. Just march through now and go through the other side and go. As they are doing that, clap your hands for Jesus. These are those with testimonies. Can you see them?
it again? Can you see the shouts of blessing? These are the only ones we have viewed. And many others, just in Ole, this location all over the world, showers of blessing. So, clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. As they go through the other side and go back now, we are all going to stand up. Every one of us will stand up. Let them start moving now. Their testimonies are recorded. Let them start moving out, one after the other, and start going through the other side. Now, you close your eyes. We are going to thank God for all he did in this global crusade. You will tell God, Father, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. Lord Jesus, thank you. Open your mouth and praise the name of the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's say, Lord, we are grateful unto you for all you did. For all you did. Both the ones we have seen and the ones we have not seen yet. The showers continue. The showers continue. Amen. Father, we want to thank you, Lord. Our hearts are filled with joy. Our mouths are enlarged with testimonies accept our thanks in jesus name lord you have set the captives free receive the glory lord in jesus name as we said unto you shards of blessing so you have done for us May your name be exalted. May your name be praised. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done. For a pastor, Lord, we are asking more years. 